A brutal robbery and beatdown inside a Chinatown store. A robber raining down blows on the helpless clerk, snatching thousands of dollars in product before fleeing, leaving the woman beaten and bloody on the floor. Eyewitness News reporter Tim Pulliam live in Chinatown hearing from frightened neighbors and from the store's owner. Tim. Mark, the robbery happened at Angie's Boutique here behind me. The store clerk has a black eye from this attack. Security video shows the moment this thief tries to rob Angie's Boutique in Chinatown. It happened Thursday in the middle of the day. The man and the clerk tussle for a moment before he pushes her to the ground. He even kicks the store's dog out of the way for the goods. You get the dog? We showed the video to neighbors. Tell me how you feel. I, it's awful. Like that. I can't believe, like, broad daylight, someone would go in there and do that to her. That sucks, man. Like, it sucks that we have to, like, get to that point in order to live. In this angle, the robber jumps over the counter to get the merchandise. Once again, the clerk tries to stop him before he hits her. The crook gets away while the clerk lays there bleeding. The thief got away with two art pieces worth $5,000. We've been here for 20 years, and we've never had to deal with any kind of situations like this. But John, the store owner, late. believes the crook is the same man who was at the store yesterday, acting weird. He started holding the item like in his arm, and then he kind of tucked it away into his arm, and then turned a little bit, looked at the door like he was about to run for the door. On this day, the thief succeeded. It's the latest in a string of retail robberies across L.A. <laughs> A Nordstrom store in Canoga Park to a jewelry store in Pasadena. This week, police arrested one of the thieves who recently stole from the Macy's store in Northridge Mall. Police say they've made nearly two dozen arrests in these latest incidents. It's a point assembly member Reggie Jones Sawyer once emphasized. In 2018, he co-sponsored AB 1065, a law that created the California Highway Patrol Retail Task Force, which partners with law enforcement agencies and the Department of Justice to investigate crimes. It was so successful that Governor Newsom uh, gave us another $200 million to expand the program. He says last year the task force is credited for recovering more than $25 million in stolen items and made 645 arrests. Those convicted facing years in state or federal prison. That they will get, be made accountable and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. And when individuals are not coming back onto the street after, after three years or if they put away for 20 years, I think that message will start to ring true and hopefully provide some relief to not only businesses, but to patrons and customers. As police review the surveillance video to track down the suspect at Angie's Boutique, the store's clerk is recovering from a swollen eye. Everyone in the neighborhood knows her. She's been around here. She's super sweet. The store owner is offering a $5,000 reward for information tomorrow. State and local law enforcement will be announcing new funding to fight organized retail crime. Tim Pulliam, ABC7 Eyewitness News. It was tough to watch, Tim. Thank you. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.